Hello everyone, I am Miriam Mortal Hellseeker back with another review, and today I am reviewing my final Stiltman wave figure before I review the complete Stiltman, and that is Frogman. It's been taking me a while, honestly, I've just been lazy. Uh, let's be real here. Um, that's the only reason I've not reviewed this guy yet. So uh, let's take a, look at, a closer look at his packaging, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure and its accessories. For packaging we have with Frogman right here, we have our typical Legends packaging. I don't think this figure will be too hard to get as um, it's a quite lesser known character and not to mention it's not exactly, I mean it's a funny figure but I don't think it's going to be one that's going to be flying off the pegs much like the Hand Ninja and the Spider-Verse figures are. Uh, my Walmart is stacked with this Stiltman wave right now and a lot of them are actually from what I've seen. A lot of stores in general, I've seen my targets all the time. So. And that's kind of how I was able to get this whole wave before I think a lot of people did. I've had this fig I've had this whole wave for almost two, like well over two weeks now. Um, so uh, that's one side of the packaging. A really nice picture of Frogman. Same other side. Here is a picture of Frogman, a bio of him. Eugene Palidio suits up as Frogman and his misguided attempt to restore his family's good name. This is his dad's suit, actually. Um, which I believe his dad's villain name is Leapfrog, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And that might be a completely different character. But I know Leapfrog is like another character that looks just like this to where you could buy two. Uh, I've reviewed literally all of these uh, all of these figures except for Frogman, which is the video you're watching right now. So go check those out. I have, I'm going to make a playlist of all of these reviews once I have the Stiltman completely um, reviewed. I've had him built for two weeks, but... There's a picture of Stiltman, uh, you know, the head, you know, more head, you know, harness, torso, blah, 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 all it comes from. Uh, there's the bottom of the box if you care. All right, let's take a closer look at the figure. For accessories we have with Frogman, we actually have a lot more than Prowler, which is funny. So we get um, two sets of hands, which is really weird to see on a figure like this. Um, so we get a set of fists. I don't use these, but it's nice they're included. And then the open grasping hands, uh, which is what I do keep on the figure, as I think it works better for the character. I think it's just you know, having a weird monster character. And then we actually, we have a Build-A-Figure piece, obviously, with this figure. A uh, figure like this, you kind of have to include a Build-A-Figure piece for. So you get the arm to the stilt man, which does have the pinless technology, double jointed elbow, I will give a closer look at this once I review Stiltman. When that is, I don't know. I mean, if <laughs> that review is either going to come out tomorrow, tonight, or it's going to come out a week from now. I don't fucking know. I'm going to try to get it out before I start seeing more reviews on this wave. I know most major reviewers have reviewed it already. However, um, from what I've seen... Not too many people in my uh, inner circle of figure reviewers and collectors have this wave yet. So I'm hoping that I can at least get the smaller channels <laughs> to... Because, again, obviously I want to make sure people see these these videos. So And most of them have done good, so I'm, I'm trying to get them out just in time. There are better videos out there, though, so thank you for watching this one. So we have an open hand, and we also have a fist. For Stiltman. And we also get a gun for Stiltman. Yeah, it's a fucking Yon Rog gun, which is pretty fucking boring. Alright, let's take a closer look at the figure. Alright, this is quite the funny figure to see in this wave, but honestly, uh, whenever I saw it, I was kind of excited to see a Frogman, but at the same time, I was not very excited for it compared to the other Spider Verse figures. This is still a really nice release on Hasbro's part, surprisingly, for a such an obscure character to typically where these are, you know, I mean, for something which I am almost positive will end up being a peg warmer, um, and I, I am sure this will be the peg warmer of the wave. I think, I even think I, figures like Spider-Gwen will sell really well, and I think Peter B. Parker and Miles, although they're like two per case and my Walmart had like, they got like three cases of these, yeah, that's how many they had. I still think those figures are gonna fly off the shelves and it was smart p double packing them and not the hand ninja, I'm sorry, but that's the honest truth. If Walmart is gonna get into cases, they're gonna get into hand ninjas. 
I think it's fair. More kids are interested in these Spider-Verse figures. You can get one for your, one for the collector and one for the kid. So I think it works fine because not, I mean, kids aren't obviously gonna buy all of these. They're going to just buy the um, Spider-Verse figures one or two. You know, they're not gonna get a bunch. That's the thing, they're not gonna get all of them. But you know, a kid will enjoy something like Frogman too. And so will the collectors. Uh, personally, as a kid, I don't think I would have bought this. <laughs> but I bought it because I, I do think it's a fun figure and also I really wanted to get the Stilt Man build a figure done. And this was the last one I bought. I got him the same day as Gwen. So, um, get a better look at the figure. You see eyes underneath, which is nice. It's a nice inclusion on the figure. I do kind of wish that there was an unmasked head included or one where you could see his face underneath. But I understand why that isn't the case. Now, this is the Doc Ock body mold. I will show Doc Ock in a comparison. Um, this is Doc Ock's body. Uh, and that shows as, if you remove his backpack, you can definitely see where the tentacles were. Which is a, a very clever way of hiding it. Now, it shows that they don't, they didn't want to retool the figure. But at the same time, it's clever. It's hidden. And I like it. Uh, the figure does have these springs on the feet, which is really cool. Uh, now, if, I think a lot of you probably own Doc Ock, but I will run through the articulation. So he's got the double jointed elbows. Uh... Swivel there, his arms go about that far. Um, you know, a swivel there, double jointed elbows. You know, your typical hand articulation on a Marvel Legend. Double jointed knees, a thigh cut. Uh, legs go about that far. And there is a swivel there. Again, I would assume most of you know what the articulation is on this body. However, I personally don't know for sure, and that's why I wanted to show it off here. They definitely actually worked hard on this figure. You can definitely tell, even though it isn't exactly the most exciting. You can definitely see, I think more more of the budget, I think, went into this guy than the Hand Ninja. Um, even the Hand Ninja, I believe, had some new tooling on it. Actually, I know the torso was entirely new, but I don't know if everything else was. And, um... But, I mean, we have the new flippers, which are really nice, the backpack, and the head sculpt, which are all new tools on the figure. And, uh... It's definitely nice to see. And it's a well-articulated figure. It's a really nice-looking figure. I definitely really enjoy it. So let's get some comparisons out of the way. Here is Frogman next to the flawed but really good Doc Ock figure. And yeah, as you can see, they're about, I would say, 60-70% of the same parts. Doc Ock has different feet, uh, different hands, and a different head sculpt. And also, the, diff the back is different as well, slightly. However, still, it's 90% the same body. If you remove the head, hands, and feet, it's in the backpack on Frogman, it's, it's the same body. However, both are really good, and they're both nice bodies as well for um, both figures. And I really want them to use this more. Uh, there isn't a lot of overweight heroes, though. But it works on these two very well. Here is uh, Frogman next to the probably the two best figures in this wave. Spoiler alert, Peter B. Parker and Miles Morales. Good thing these two are two per case, both. Um, if you're only going to get two from this wave, get these two. I'm just going to say that now. I mean, yeah, they're probably the two most interesting, but still, I, I would say they probably put the most work into these two figures. Uh, they're definitely the most new tooling, that's sure. I don't think there's a single bit of reuse on either. So, the, these are the two worth getting, I think. Here is Frogman next to two McFarlane Toys figures, being Joker and Red Hood. Here is Frogman next to Logan in Venom. Here is Frogman next to, uh, I mean, uh, 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 you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> um... Next to, probably, I mean, this is a character I, I, I personally picture Frogman with, uh, and that is uh, White Rabbit. 
They were both in Hunted, which was a Craven story, so that was my introduction to both of these characters, so that's kind of how I know who both of they are, and then I just, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, <laughs> and last but certainly not least, here is Frogman next to the Retro Spider-Man, Snake Eyes, and the Mafex Batman. All right, so I'm gonna give this figure a six out of 10. It's a good figure. Basic, though, it's not exactly very exciting when it comes to the articulation and the new stuff included, and not me knowing too much about this character. However, it's fun. It's definitely funny. It's definitely a funny character, and I definitely am glad I own it. Um, however, if you were going to tell me all of these were going to be in the way, and you'd say, Frogman... I really don't think I'd be as excited as I definitely enjoy it as more now. I think this figure's a bit a bit overrated. Some people are saying it's one of the best figures in the wave, and I've never seen a figure like this get so high reception. I mean, figures like White Rabbit, uh, Spy Master. He's under the same caliber as that. I mean, he's I guess he's on a better buck, but that doesn't help. And frankly, I don't I don't get how he. Uh, He's that overrated, personally. But it's a fun, it's a fun figure, and they actually did put work into it. I'm like, you know, something like Spy Master, which was such a terrible figure, and something. I mean, I didn't even buy that many, you know, of those shitty legends this uh, last year. I wasn't dumb enough. Um, I didn't even touch the Strong Guy wave other than uh, Warpath, and uh, I almost wish I didn't buy Warpath, or I didn't buy him. I traded for him, but. Uh, I did buy a figure to trade for it, man. I traded... I found a Retro Spidey in the wild. I should have just kept that Retro Spidey, because that's so much of a better figure. A Retro Spidey on card, I think I would have gotten more use out of. Um, To be honest. Warpath is good, it just isn't that exciting to me. But, um... I do like this guy. I think he's fun. He's enjoyable. And, uh, definitely I would recommend only if you are either a diehard Legends collector, you like this character, or if you, uh, collect Spider-Man related characters. I would not buy this just randomly. If you only have selected out of figures, this is not one to get. Get the Spider-Verse ones. Those ones are so much better. Trust me, all of them are better than this, I think. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good buy. It's fun if you only collect comic figures. It's a good figure to get. Um, but yeah, the two comic figures in this wave just weren't for me personally. I I, I they weren't. Uh, I thought the Hand Ninja was something I wanted, and it just it just wasn't that good. Now I do want to get more because I think they might be more fun if I have multiple Hand Ninjas. But yeah, I just I didn't like it that much. This Frogman, I definitely like a lot more. and He's leagues higher than the Hand Ninja, for sure. He's just not that higher. You know, he's not number one. Because again, I think the fact people are putting him at number one, I think, is a bit ridiculous. I think it's the same reason people love the Jazz Wears Fortnite line so much, which is just a line I never cared about too much, personally. I guess they were good figures. The one I own is nice. But they just they just aren't it for me. You know, if you ask me, they just aren't it. They are not what I've been wanting. And I think a lot of the goofy jazz wear stuff, I just, and they just didn't catch my eye like they are with some people, like the Meow Souls and stuff. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. Am I, am I completely stupid? Am I crazy for not saying this is the best figure in the wave? Is there something I'm missing? Or is this just how it is and it's just people think it's fucking hilarious? And is that the reason why he's, he's number one in so many people? Uh, but anyway, I do enjoy him. So, uh, next review will be Stiltman, probably, unless they find something tomorrow, like, uh, Damien Wayne Robin, hopefully. So, uh, bye.